right? Obviously, we're doing something ridiculous today. We are making prison food today. But first, before we do the prison food, I want to show you guys, since, since we're using a microwave, uh, since we're using a microwave right here, we didn't use microwaves in prison when we were in our cells. So I'm going to show you what, how we made it hot, how we got the water hot. So we're going to do this first. So it's called making a stinger. What we would do, this is what we would do. Look, uh, <laughs> we, we would, uh, you get an old, get an old, a, um, TV plug, like an old broken TV, right? You cut the, you would cut the, the, the cord off to where you, the part where you could plug it in, right? Let me go, let me go to this screen right here. Screen one. What's up, Smokehanas? How you doing? So look. So you get this, you get, you get some um, nail clippers, right? You break the nail clippers. This is what we have available. This is called a stinger. This is how we heat the food up in prison. So you, and then you split the wire of the plug, right? As you can see right here. You put one side on this, take this other side, put it on this. You have it separated right here, right? Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. How to start a fire in prison 101. Well, let me tell you something, Darbeans. Prisons are definitely made out of fucking wood, you stupid idiot. What are you talking about? Prisons are made out of fucking concrete. You can't burn down a prison because it's solid concrete. Nobody's getting locked up in a wooden prison. Anyway, Darbeans, I'm just roasting you already, but uh, you get these things. Do not try this at home. I'm just showing you for uh, I'm showing you for um, purposes and uh, what do you call it educational purposes here look take this like this splice the wires you put these things this is what we would do in prison it's called a stinger you get a pencil we didn't have a pencil we use this chopstick you don't have chopsticks in prison put this in between put this in between the metals like this so the current so the metals don't touch. You gotta make sure these metals do not touch. Willer, can you come in here and help me? I have my trusted, literally fucking dude, trusted uh, assistant that come and help me here. Connect these things, come on in here. Come in here. Connect these things like this. Put them together. We're, you don't have tape in prison, but we, you use saran wrap. Just tape these things together like this. Now you gotta wrap it. Yep. Educational purposes only, ladies and gentlemen. Pretend like this is saran wrap. We didn't have saran wrap, so we're just using this for educational purposes only. Here, just keep wrapping, keep taping it, whatever, whatever, keep going. Keep going like this. This. That. Okay. Shit, so those things are connected, and there is a piece of wood that separates that separates right it, it'll separate the metals so the current doesn't touch take this other side take the other side and then you plug it in and then you drop it into your water and it heats up within within like fucking 12 seconds and you burn your wooden prison down, you fucking idiot. You're gonna burn the prison down. It's fucking concrete. You can't burn a prison down. Dar beams? 50 subs. Let's go for being stupid. Uh, anyways, this is called a stinger. We would use this. I'm not gonna make any violent weapons on here because this is all this is still is Twitch. <laughs> a fucking 1700s prison. Even a 1700s prison had fucking cobblestone and rock with mud. 
I don't think there's ever been a wooden prison. That makes no goddamn sense. Why would you have a wooden fucking prison? Well, think I'm about here. what, think about it. Aviation, thank you for the five bomb. Anyways, you, you plug this into the wall, drop this into your coffee, correct? And within five to six seconds, you have boiling water. It's insane. There's some tricks here. All right, so now what we have here is we have everything, we have everything to make, you know what? Grab me that uh, day of cheese out there. There's day of cheese on the counter. You have vegan cheese. The reason I have Willard, my assistant, here to help me is because I can't eat this because I am vegan, so he has to eat this. I was gonna do this, we have day of cheese, but in prison they just have this little squeeze cheese that you get off the commissary. We're gonna use, we're gonna use the, uh, we're gonna use day of cheese. Grab it. Uh, Willow here. We're gonna do, you're gonna do a little uh, wrap. All right. He better eat the whole thing. He's gotta help me right now. He's gotta help me right now. All right. So now that you know, how, people wonder how you keep your food hot. It's one of these things. You're not allowed to have this in prison. This is not. You're not allowed to have something like this in prison. If they find this with you, go to the hole. You can get it confiscated. Most people had these though. Uh, but we're gonna heat for purposes uh, for quicker purposes. We're gonna heat up. Uh, we're gonna heat the prison ramen in this. Usually, when you're in prison, you use one of these bags to mix it together. We're gonna probably do that. I, when I was in prison, I just used a bowl. We had plastic bowls. You put the thing in there, and then we drop this in. It would literally boil it, and then you just let it sit for a second, and then I just mix everything together. But since, since we're gonna we're gonna do the prison gang, we're gonna pretend like we're in a prison gang right now, straight up. In a wooden, in a wooden prison, a fucking wooden prison. Holy shit! You're so stupid. <laughs> Willard's laughing over here. You can't try not to laugh. Anyway, so um, we're gonna start this. You wanna come help me, Willard? Willard's dad went to prison a long time ago when he was a kid, so he understands. He looks like he's in. He's been to prison. Look at him. Look at Willard. <laughs> Oh, all right, so what we're gonna do is, which, which flavor do you want? So this is what I used to do, bro. Open, you know what, we're gonna do that later. We're gonna do chicken, we're gonna do beef, beef. So you open that, all right? Um, lobster, stop, stop. We're gonna put it in the bowl for now. Okay, we didn't have, well, we did have bottles of water, but for, make it quicker. We're going to pour this water in here. Pour the water in, right? Like this. Like this. Lo lobster, you're not getting any prison ramen. Go lay down. Here. Oops. Okay, that's good. It's good. You don't worry about it. All right, so we're going to drop the stinger in. Pretend like we dropped the stinger in. Hold on. Got to open this up. All right, we're gonna open this up here, put this in. Put it in for a fucking, uh, I'm look, it would take for a stinger, for a stinger, and you just put it in for a minute and a half. A minute and a half, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, there you go. All right, gotta let it uh, cook here. And as we let it cook, we're gonna give you some more information on how to not get in trouble in prison. Do not get tattoos in prison. You get hepatitis C. You get AIDS. Getting tattoos in prison. Me, I got tattoos in prison. I didn't get either, but they scared me enough to know that I'll probably never do that again. Oh, lobster! You just chilling in here? All right, so. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do here, this is how I really like this. So I'm gonna show you, you're gonna like this, I'm telling you. Pop, pop it out. Feel it if it's a little mushy. Is it still hard? 
a little bit longer. Put another two minutes. So what we're going to do while, while we're waiting, we're going to do what the prisoners used to do. And me and him are going to hook up. <laughs> me and him are going to literally hook up. Look me in the eyes. <laughs> Willard, Willard's usually super funny. He's just nervous in front of crowds right now. I don't know how many people are watching. 1.2 million people are watching right now? I'm just kidding. Not that many. You imagine? <laughs> That's like half of the world record. How did you cook without getting caught? What do you mean? You're allowed to cook in your prison cell. That's why they give you commissary. You're allowed to cook in prison. You're allowed to cook in your prison cell. You're just not allowed to use one of these. So you'd have to use, uh, you'd just have to let the ramen sit in the lukewarm water that you get from your sink until it's like mushy. If, if you didn't have one of these things that boil it. So you would get all this stuff on the commissary. All this stuff right here, you would get on commissary, plus this cheese, but uh, it wouldn't be vegan. It's not vegan. Not allowed to cook in a wooden in wooden cell. Willow here. Kimmy, thank you so much. Thank you. It should be fucking piping hot at this point. Good. Pull this out of our prison microwave. All right, we do need a fork. Here. What you do here? You get this fork. You got to get this broken up. All right, go strain all this water. Most of the water, like literally like 95% of it. You could do it in any bathroom. I just went to Walmart and saw a bunch of guys that look like Willard. That's fucking hilarious. How much would it cost for the commissary? Ah, uh, you fucking 100 bucks. 100 bucks every two months. They don't, you don't get shipped to prison. They have a store in the prison. Of course I had contraband. We have con... We have contraband right now, bro. This is contraband. All right. This should be good. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to do it like the Serenios did it. I need you to dump. I need you to dump this in this bag. Hopefully there's no holes in it. We're going to dump this in this bag. This is how the Serenios do it. Feed their family. Okay. Okay. All right. What do you want? You want Cheetos? Open the Cheetos up. Okay. We're going to do it like this. Put as many as you want. Put a little bit in there because you're going to have a lot of stuff in there. Put it in there. That's good. You're not a big fan of Cheetos? I am a big fan. You're a big fan. Okay. Put those in there. This is Fritos. That's good. That's good. Pork rinds. The best part about the the best part of waking up, Folgers in your cup. Wooden prison. Stupid idiot. All right. All right. So. Now, this is the best part, since this is how I did it. This is how I did it. You gotta open that up all the way. We didn't have knives in prison. We had shanks, but they weren't, they weren't sharp enough to cut the thing. Take, you have to take it. This is for you, I can't eat this. Bite, eh, drop. Bite, eh, drop. Go ahead. Bite, drop. There you go. Bite, you drop. Can't put it in your hand. Nope, bite, drop. Keep going. <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going. How many do you want in there? That's fine. Willow oh, here. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Open this up. This is the cheese. Ethereal monster, thank you, sir. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. Wanna put all of it in there? Put half of it. Here you go, there's some cheese. It's probably good for you. Someone said you have to eat all of this. It's not bad, I'm not gonna lie. 
You should have left a little bit more water in here. Here, put this in the microwave. All right. Andy, yeah, thank you so much. Now look, I know it looks gross, but it's not. It's delicious. This is called a spread. Dude, you're gonna like this. Uh, your sodium level might be real high after, but there's only a little bit of salt in here. Okay, piping. Just dump a little tiny bit of it in there. A little. That's good. That's good. All right, now, while you're at it, you could put a tortilla in there. Tortilla in the thing. Look at how good this looks. It smells good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of jealous that I wish, I wish I could have this. There it is. There, Josie with the 10. And right here, it's not soggy enough yet. It needs to be a little soggy. Water? A little bit more water. There you go. It's like you're my cellmate right now. Oh yeah, look, bro. All right, look at this. And what you have here, my, my viewers, I want you to see what you have. Look at this. This is bringing me back, dude. This is bringing me back. Oh, the smell of gunpowder in the morning after a prison riot. You know what I mean? Nothing like the smell of gunpowder in the morning after a good old prison riot. Or the smell of baby powder after your Sally just woke up and slaps him on his balls. You know what I mean? Nothing like that. Because, you know, there's a lot of good ventilation in the cells. Willow here. Dance green trees with the fire bomb. Thank you so much. All right. So now what we have here, we, we're about to eat it. Or he's about to eat it. All right. So I think people uh, for, tend to forget since I look like an emo, uh, an emo band member that I went to a maximum security prison. Serious. Stop getting it confused. It's fucking terrifying. People act like they weren't scared if they went to prison. It was fucking literally terrifying. All right? You touch it. I don't want to I don't want to touch your All right, you just dump and you get a fork and just put put that on there. Put that right in there. There you go. Clean fork. Yep, clean fork. Dump it out. It, it really is. All right, that's probably too much. I'm hungry. I know it sounds crazy, but it is actually kind of good. It's good. This is how you. This is what you eat. So he put way too much in there, but. Here he goes, here he goes, here's the taste. Let's see how this tastes. I wish I could taste it, I can't taste it right now. You can lie, or you don't have to lie. First bite. Eight out of 10. Wow, eight out, a, out of food. Out of food, eight out of 10, and his, his his uh, taste buds are very much spoiled because he lives in uh, the free world. So imagine being confined to a prison cell and this is all you have. 100%. He just said 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. All right, guys. He's going to have to finish this. We're going to have to sit here until he literally finishes this.
I said, are you lying before he even said anything? <laughs> How did it feel to get shanked? Bro, what do you mean? You think everyone that goes to prison gets shanked? C note 1987. I'm assuming that you're literally in your fucking mid-20s with your with your 1987 name. You're not stupid. You think I got shanked? No, I didn't get shanked. Holy shit. Huh? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. You don't have to eat all of this, though. Oh, no, no, no. All right, guys. For 50 subs, I'm sending this. I will send this to you in the mail. The next person that drops 50 subs right now, I'm sending this as is in the mail. He's, he's going to go out and do it right now. Next person. 50 subs. Boom. Let's go. I'm serious. Keep going. I never shanked anyone either, guys. I made shanks, but I never shanked anybody and I never got shanked. Getting shanked was rare. It happened at least once a month. I know that sounds crazy, but that's rare in a prison sense. It's pretty good for what it's worth. It's pretty good for what it's worth. You won't projectile vomit right now. What what did we make it from? I did see someone get shanked, yes. Vanessa with the one, thank you so much. Everybody give uh, Will a round of applause in the chat for uh, eating that entire prison ramen. Burrito. Thank you, Willard, so much. Thank you for watching. Yep. An OG or an old head usually has to give the green light for that. An OG. Uh, no, a, a, no, not an OG, actually. Uh, no. A shot caller of a, of a gang has to give the, the green light on that. Sure. 50 subs and this is getting sent out. Anyway. There's 10. Let's go, baby! Where did you hide your shanks? We hit our shanks up on the the the, the uh, doorway sometimes. They always found them though, so they did find them a lot, you know. Okay, yeah. It is really good, I'm not gonna lie. It's super good. It, I mean, pretend like you haven't had a steak in seven months. You know what I mean? This is what you have. It is good. Thank you for coming to my uh, prison cooking show. That's about it for today. I taught you how to do a um, a stinger. Taught you how to make a stinger. And taught you how to do some prison ramen. So we're going to go back. Let's go back to square one over here. All right, we're done with that. How was the prison cooking show, the first one on my channel so far?